sometimes having darshan could be a very ritualistic thing. You know, I'll see, I'll see, I have seen, I have seen. But actual darshan is to be seen. To present oneself to Krishna in such a way that Krishna is pleased to see us. When we are really, really happy to see Krishna in a spirit of, of surrender, then Krishna is pleased to see us. That is true darshan. So yes, Lord Chaitanya, he was surrendering his body, mind, his words, his life. He was offering it to Srinathji. And how did he do that? Through his prayer and through his kirtan. The whole time he was there, he was offering his prayers and he was chanting and dancing. He wasn't dancing and chanting just as some rule or regulation. He was chanting Krishna's name because he was offering his heart, he was offering his love when he was chanting. He was offering the very soul of his souls when he was dancing for the pleasure of Gopal. And he's teaching us. This is, this is what darshan means, to come before the Lord with an eagerness to serve. And of all forms of service, to chant the holy names with great affection, humility, sincerity, is the greatest way of pleasing Krishna. It's like Srila Prabhupada, when he was sitting in Tompkins Square Park or Washington Square Park or Hippie Hill in Golden Gate Park, wherever he was in those early days, when he would see all these hippies becoming happy because they were chanting Krishna's names, that made Prabhupada most happy. When he would see people chanting, when he would see people happy chanting the names and dancing, that gave him the greatest happiness. Because it was liberating our souls, it was connecting us to Radha Gopinath. So when we perform kirtan, we are doing so to please Krishna. And the more we have this consciousness, the more the holy name will reciprocate with us and we will actually taste the nectar. And sometimes we may taste no nectar. It may taste bitter. We may not want to dance. We may not like to chant. And we just, there's so many other things we'd rather do at this moment. But that's an optimum time to give pleasure to Krishna. Because at that moment we are choosing. Okay, I'm not, it's not giving me happiness. But it gives me happiness to make you happy, Krishna. Even if I'm not happy, it makes me happy to give you happiness because I'm your servant. That is love. <laughs> <laughs>